Welcome back to the MotorFab YouTube channel. This week, a little something different. We're going on a road trip to Warwick Raceway to go no prep racing. It's my first time no prep racing. It's actually my first time driving on slicks. I've always raced on radial tires. So we tested earlier last week, as you saw on the, on the radials, and because the slicks hadn't arrived yet, we got the slicks in, put them in the car, haven't driven on them, heading out to Warwick, and we're gonna see how we go. Starting from scratch and nothing to lose. So we're going to have a good time. We're going to stay out there the weekend and uh, enjoy the time there. It's going to be great fun. Been looking forward to this for a long time. And yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how it'll go. A couple of things I will promise you. I'm going to do some big, long, stinky burnouts. I'm going to give it plenty of right hoof. A few New Zealand viewers, that's uh, plenty of jandal. And um, I'm going to rev the freckle out of that poor little small block Chevy. Really looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've been in a seat, so let's get into it. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hope you enjoy this week's content. We worked really hard. We did some extra miles to get this video to you, and uh, I really hope it shows up in the content. And I hope you guys enjoy watching our journey. Thank you. I'm taking potions, call me Alice. with the flowers. Watch the seconds turn to hours It's time for high tea Mad men and hats and cats up in the trees I'm gonna learn in Wonderland Wondering how if I'll ever get Dragway, Morgan Park Raceway, whatever you want to call it. And um, we thought there might be a fair few people camping here and nothing, nada, zilch. We're the only ones. Just us and the, uh, the old fire truck over here. And uh, we're going to spin this thing around and we're going to go check out this. It's actually a really cool raceway, I love it. So I'm going to show you guys around. The trailer did great, I never got a chance to wash it. The truck did amazing. Oh, that Duramax and Allison automatic combo is uh, amazing. It's just it's like it wasn't even there. Now everyone says that about towing, but we got a nice spot because we don't have to compete with anyone. And uh, what have we got over here? It looks like we've got a cactus museum, a couple of painted containers. This is. Uh, might be caretakers lodge little ranch unfortunately it would be nice to nice to make a little test hit but i don't think that's going to happen check out the murray river cod that's really nice it's obviously someone's little little setup it is freezing out here by the way absolutely freezing there's a uh, track officials here putting the covid signs up all the crap as our fire engine this is uh, to me this is what uh, drag racing is all about I love these little rural tracks they're um there's just something special about them you can see that nice feel going away it's a bit of a distance to get out here and um that one little tower three little grandstands that is it I'm pretty excited to be here that's for sure and uh, I'm pretty excited it's not raining it's holding out so far pissing around on the Gold Coast we're gonna go and walk the uh, have a little walk at the track look at that beauty so apparently there is no prep whatsoever we're gonna see if anyone's been testing no it's actually 
it's not sticky at all so they're right no it doesn't look like anyone has tested here it is not sticky at all there's Gibbo over there he's uh he's helping the track officials put the covid signs up good on him and uh have a little power uh, comp cams laying here and um this is our start line they fixed the staging lanes up since last time i was out here yeah that's the start it is actually really slick really bald um someone's had a bit of a bit of a stab not too long ago by look of it you can get out here to where this is the infamous part of warwick this is uh the bit that everyone struggles with they call it the bump um looks like they've had a bit of a work well, it actually drops from your concrete launch pad which is very bald as you can see and you got bitumen racetrack and uh, tarmac whatever you want to call it but this here you can feel this this is quite a bit this uh where you jump from the concrete to the the tarmac you can see look at that hump you're gonna get airborne over that uh this yeah this is this is gonna be sketchy uh i've run out here years ago just the one time i think i did about 118 mile an hour or something to the eighth and it just felt a bit sketchy then so um i don't know how much of a tune-up i'm going to get in the ute but obviously at willow bank it does 140 mile an hour so sorry, 144 mile an hour but um i won't be putting that sort of tune up in it out here because that's just crazy but we'll definitely go over 130 we'll see what happens this um this bitumen actually quite sticky surprisingly enough uh, there's another big hump here which is pretty wild hump that one and the braking area is, is full of bumps so it's uh yeah how nice is it though it's cold obviously you guys can't feel that but it's, uh, sun setting over morgan park raceway circuit track over there you guys that watch the channel all the time see i built a few circuit cars years ago I used to come out here and do a lot of racing out there with those and uh the boys jeff taunton gary hall mick warnock used to love coming out here and helping those guys get their cars around the track so here we are today trying to get down the drag strip and you can see this uh, little bit looks a bit sketchy too and very sketchy <sighs> getting a bit butterflies looking at this looks worse when you walk down it and um yeah so look at this we got uh, we got a couple of wild lanes to rag race on that's for sure but that's what it's all about obviously we'll turn it down and uh, try to go just try to go a to b and try to do it safely down here to the uh to the finish line which is this eighth mile of this track obviously not uh, got a big hill at the end there but it's in dirt so it's a bit sketchy if you go off on that and they got a little sign here which uh 140 mile an hour is 220 something kilometers an hour i think i don't think you're gonna be reading pull shoot now sign that's for sure but this is our finish our finish line and then if i remember correctly when i did race out here many years ago the um not many probably about five yeah there's a big bump you got one there and one there as you come off off the end of the track gets a bit wild and then as you get further down here there's a very uneven little patch it gets a bit hard to hold the brakes on but uh there you go so that's that's a little rundown warwick drag strip it's pretty cool yeah you can see it's pretty undulated down there it's yeah, be a bit easy on the brakes but you don't don't have a huge area but there's enough room to pull up i think they've actually extended it since i was out here last yeah they have the lane didn't used to be so far down so i'll go for a walk down but that's um it's good that they've extended it it's gonna make life a bit safer i think but yeah looking forward to tomorrow that's for sure also just quickly as i walk back down something else that uh uh, for a lot of years i'd come out and watched uh drag fest and the one time i raced out here was my race at drag fest and um that's where i sort of fell in love with the warwick drag strip watching drag fest years ago but something that's um 
that always stick with me about drag racing is yeah coming out to here to drag fest seeing all the weird and wonderful cars you don't see it at willow bank in a normal race sort of scene and uh and hearing hearing big carry digney's voice through the uh the microphone it's a bit of a funky sound system out here it's not the best and yeah I know Kerry loves this place and big shout out to Kerry, he's one of my favourite people in drag racing, he's been in it for a very long time and um, mate, I, I uh, yeah, absolutely love coming out of here and hearing you belt out the awesome commentary through that uh, Warwick sound system, it gives you goosebumps, it's what the spirit of drag racing is all about really and uh, getting out of rural parts of Australia and letting rip on a sketchy as hell track and that little country town sound system and big uh, calls from Kerry. It's just awesome. I absolutely love it out here. It's getting dark now, so I'll uh, start setting up our camp and we'll check in with you guys tomorrow when we start racing. There you go. Sun screaming over the hill in the west. Over here in the trailer. We got bump in. She's made the trip safe and sound. She's looking good too. A bit dirty, but I've had a bit of a clean. Isn't that nice? So bump in the sunset. Beautiful. So uh, we're going to get camp set up and uh, get the freaking heater going and try to get out of this cold. It's pretty cold out here, but yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, popping all the time. So I've got to look at the fuel mixture on Clark's throttle. 
we normally only tune for full throttle when we're because uh, they're always full throttle, but the uh, tune might be a little different on half throttle. Uh, yeah, I had an absolute ball, that was a cracker. Uh, yeah, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm pretty confident we can pull some power out and get this thing to stick and go down pretty good and uh, have some fun steering it. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna back into the car uh, here now.
Left a little bit of power. For some reason the uh, creep function's not working. Don't know what's happened there. But yeah, we'll see. Definitely excited about that. Shifted early, it all felt good. Get back to the data and um, yeah, it was a little lazy actually of anything off the start. That they're sort of waiting for it to come up, but I've yeah, got all the timing out of it. We were really rushed, so I didn't get to show you guys the timing changes. Um, because I had to get around for my second one, I was, I was probably one of the last cars to run, I think. Um, I didn't want to stuff them around, so I just um, put my changes in, made my changes, and yeah, we'll go back, just maybe just fine tune that a little bit. I've got eight degrees out off the kit, but I think I probably only want six degrees out, six degrees for the whole rest of the pass, all the boost out. It'll be interesting to see what it made, but yeah, we we're rock and rolling, that was fun. Warwick's own big chief. <laughs> hey, how are you, mate? I'm awesome. How you going? You chirping gears and pulling chicks or what? Yeah. Mate. yeah. <laughs> nah, top event, mate. Absolutely loving it. Yeah. I did still got knocked out, but oh well. I'll be back. <laughs> I spoke about it earlier, and uh, here he is, the man himself. Guys, Kerry Digny on the microphone. As possible, we have got this uh, amazing opportunity to get this round through, and we would like to take advantage of that. On the echo, the dodgy Warwick PO. What are we going to do? The start like crew just standing around doing nothing, but come on, we need to keep it working. I'll freeze to death. Otherwise. Yelling abuse at the officials. Here we go. I know who this is. I should know who it is. Wait for the, uh, yeah, take the top rods. Going all the way out to Cotton, is it Cotton Vale? Yeah, it's worth going out to have a bit of a look out there, see what he does. Take a big checkbook with you, but he does put nice hot rods. Who's your favourite to win, Gary? Oh, mate, <laughs> I can't say anything at the moment, I'll tell you what. From qualifying to our first round of racing, the changes in the cars is absolutely amazing. And there's actually a couple of drivers out there that come light now. Yeah, that was my problem. <laughs> yeah, well, you, 
you were pretty, pretty lousy on my tour. Yeah. Good. Yeah, we couldn't believe that slow you were on the pro tree. The pass was um, good, but the light was bad. Light. Then we get a red light. First who who so, red lit? Uh, just went down the track then. People will love me. Uh, that. You'll be absolutely happy. Daisy and the Capri. <laughs> That's your favourite? Daisy and the Capri. Daisy and the Capri. Daisy's the name of her car. Uh, is it the yellow Capri? Yep. I, I yeah. saw this morning she tried to drive a car off the trailer with the chain still on the front. Yeah. <laughs> that works. That Luckily, good. no damage was done. So you can't tell us times, but can you tell us how close the top oh, four are? Yeah, yeah. Close. Yeah, yeah close. close. Very um, close. And good, good speeds. And Within three up. tenths. And they're, and they're hooking up. So yeah, it's going to be yep. interesting, mate. It's going to be good. The truck's starting to come around. Yep. For something that's got no prep in it, it's, uh, it's like uh, Briggies in the old days. The traction was always there. It's good. It's perfect. <laughs> Appears to run away from it. <laughs> that, to start some um, street tyre and we're going to call up small tyre again please. Okay, we're so going to let Kerry do his work.
we'll hopefully go faster again. So yeah, that was good fun. I really enjoyed that. And that'll be that last pass. We'll pack up now. So I'll uh, turn this camera off. Okay, I'll keep you rolling until it, I might shut you off actually because the battery dies. We'll shut him off. Here we go, Steve Redcuff's Rat FE. He's one of the contenders for our YouTube Builder Challenge against Harry and uh, Street Machine. And he's had, he's got the coolest looking car here, I'll give him that. He's had a little drama, he got a flat tire on the first pass. And the second one, it's, um, it has got a little bit of fluid issue. Fluids issue, there's more than one coming out of there. I don't know if you can see. It sprung the leak, all right. It's um, bad life choices. It's pissed and broke. Can we see if we pop the hood? I'm gonna fall over in a minute. Here we go. We're gonna pop the hood. Here we go. It's got oil everywhere. I don't know. Put you down there. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Two, two to two we you know of. That's uh, what happens when you have big power, little or less. Cool setup. Big shame it broke. You got one on that? Oh, at the sump. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Can we see? Towards the front, that's it there. Ah, oh, there we Hanging go. Out. Yeah. That's stupid. We also see the big hole there, so it didn't last. We won't tell you how much power it was making because it's been a bit of a secret. But uh, enough, too many, I'd say. But it'll be back. Enemies everywhere going rounds. Hello, young fella. You get it? Got the win. Beautiful. I'm too close here, but who's got the best any roll bar in the country? Hey! <laughs> One sunset down to nearly the next. The clouds are covering it up. Look at that beautiful bit of gear there. Fortunately, I made a boo boo round one and couldn't kick going rounds, but uh, I'm pretty sure. I hard with no prep because you don't know anyone's time but pretty sure I got my shit together towards the end and that last pass was, was a cracker um, yeah Gibbo said the commentary said it was uh, it was left me up there for quick passes so I don't know you don't never know with no prep but um, it felt good still spun a little bit but it just looks beautiful in the in the light I sort of yeah a lot of you guys have noticed that I have had the ute up for sale as a roller but uh, when I race it like this, it, it just makes me uh, not want to sell it. But we got bigger, uh, bigger projects. We got to finish the Tirana, get that sorted out, and uh, yeah. But uh, the old Ute's done me proud today. It's been good. I think the funnest part, one was fun, was driving it on the slicks when it moves around like that, and two was the fun getting it, getting the tune sorted. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a game of chess trying to you're playing with the track trying to get down. It's a very, very different tune to what I've ever run ever before, but absolutely loved it, really enjoyed it. So there you go, that's a wrap up for it. I finished racing now. I didn't catch too much of the other races. It's always busy doing something, but um, I'm sure you guys will see that on other channels and stuff somewhere along the line, and we're gonna start packing up over and out. <laughs> Follow white rabbit I'm taking potions, call me Alice Watch me grow taller Yeah, rabbit's watches in his pocket